So hi guys, I am so sorry I have been gone for so long, it's just been a crazy year, school starting and everything, but I am back now and I'm here to stay. So I'm just going to finish up the buy and try that I missed out and let's just get started on into this video. So I first tried out this Tied to Go stick. Um, this one was actually really, really great. I think that it removes stains really, really well, especially if you can just get it like right when you caught the stain on it, rub it on, um, damp, like make sure to like pat it in though. I found if you rub it, sometimes it carries the stain onto like other parts of your clothes. It'll eventually get out. It's just more annoying. So just make sure when you do the pen, like squish it in. Yeah, this works great. The next thing I tried out was this Beauty Blender. Honestly, I don't really feel the need to like since I already have a regular like regular pink regular size beauty blender and it has like a little tip in the corner. I really didn't feel like there was like any need for a small beauty blender. That's just my personal opinion. I didn't think it was worth getting this one wet and the other one just to do my concealer. Um but yeah, I thought it was I thought it was good. It worked. It's kind of just like a mini version of the beauty blender. It was fine if you really need a beauty blender just for your eyes because, I don't know, your eyes are too small with the regular one. I don't know. But yeah, this was great, but I didn't really find a huge use out of it. I don't really feel like it's necessary. The last thing I tried was the new Instant Age Rewind um, pen. It looks like that. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it if you're active on YouTube. The whole YouTube community, beauty community uses this. I thought it was great. It, um, some people do say it's cakey, but I don't think it's cakey. I thought it was fine, especially if you blend it in right after you put it on. It does kind of remind me of my Maybelline, um, 24 hour. I actually have it right here, my super stay. This is, I think this is one of the first products I tried out. But if you guys remember that one, I love this one. I, this is my second time buying it. It's actually, I think, discontinued, though, so I had to get it off of Amazon Prime. But anyway, enough about that. But I thought this one was kind of like that in the way that it dried really quick, and then you could blend it in, and it stays on your face the whole day. So kind of to tie in with that, um, I tried out the big version of it. Looks like that. So this one, the huge one, Oh, there we go. This is terrible. Oh my gosh. This is so different from the other one. This one, you put it on and it moves around your face. You could, like, put it on and, it'll, like, it doesn't dry. It's, like, really oily because I think it's a serum. It's more of a serum than this one for, like, the treatment. And, oh my goodness gracious, it, like, you touch it and it makes a fingerprint. It's terrible, 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 terrible. Oh my goodness. Okay. But anyway, now onto the products I am going to try. So the first thing I'm going to try is this Hypnos Drama. This is by Lancome. It's a mascara. It's really cool. I know this one's kind of expensive. I think it's around $20. It's not focusing, but it looks like that. Um, it's really a plain bottle. But I thought this one... Um, I thought this one. <laughs> I haven't tried it out yet. Um, I think this one's going to be great. I've heard great reviews about it, and I thought that they had, like, a huge collection of different ones. So I think that they are good at mascaras. The next thing I'm trying out is the Superstay Better Skin. So I did love the Superstay collection of the 24, but since, like I said, it is discontinued, it's going to be kind of harder to find. So I wanted to try to find an alternative to that one. So I saw the Superstay Better Skin Concealer. Um, it looks like that. Maybe you guys have seen it. So we'll see how I like this one and see if it dries really quickly and um, stays on your face the whole day. And yes. But so I have this like beauty blender. It's a knockoff beauty blender. I don't know what it's called, but I'll try to find it and put it in the description. But it's a knockoff beauty blender. And so I think that this one will be great. I don't know. I mean, it feels really great, but I know that these ones do rip compared to the regular ones. So we'll just see if this one works the same as a regular beauty blender. So I'm really excited to try that one out. And yes, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for sticking around. I'm sorry I'm so scrappy. I just kind of had to quickly film this video because junior year has been kind of crazy so far. And competition seasons, I feel like it's right around the corner. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. And bye.